Hey YouTube, in this problem we have to integrate tangent of x to the fifth power. Let's try to work this out. Solution. So this looks kind of problematic, uh, so I'm thinking maybe what we can do first is involve uh, some sequence. So there's an identity that says that 1 plus tangent squared x is equal to the secant uh, function squared of x. That would mean that the tangent squared of x is equal to secant squared of x minus 1. So I'm thinking maybe we can write this in a way that will allow us to use this identity. So let's write this as tangent cubed of x times uh, the tangent uh, squared of x dx. And we can do that because we're basically multiplying. And when you multiply, you add the exponents, right? 3 plus 2 is 5. Now let's use the identity on this second piece here and see what happens. So this is equal to the integral of tangent cubed of x. And then tangent squared is secant squared x. Then we have the minus 1 here and then dx. All right, so what do we do next? Um, well, maybe just distribute and uh, see what happens. I don't see an immediate way to like do the problem, right? If you let u be tangent, then du is secant squared, so um, maybe we should distribute things first. So distributing the tangent cubed, it's going to give us tangent cubed x, secant squared x, and then distributing it again here is going to give us minus uh, tangent uh, cubed x, and then parentheses dx. We should be able to integrate this first piece, right? If you let u be tangent, the derivative is secant squared. The only issue is the second piece. So let's go ahead and break it up into two integrals. So we have the integral of tangent cubed x times secant squared x dx minus the integral of tangent cubed x dx. So we know how to do this piece, right? Our u is going to be tangent here. And then so the derivative uh, will simply be uh, secant squared x dx. So no problems there. The only issue is this. Uh, so how do we do this? Well, I'm thinking, again, you use this identity, right? We can think of tangent cubed as tangent squared times tangent. Actually, let me think of it like this. Tangent, tangent squared. And then I guess we'll do, um, not that it mattered, I guess. <laughs> we'll use the identity again. This will be secant squared x minus 1 dx. So let's just keep going. Let's keep going. So this is equal to, so this piece here is going to be u cubed du. No problems there, right? This piece here is our du. Minus, and then I'm going to use a bracket here. So this is going to be the integral of this, right? So we have tangent x, parentheses, secant squared x, minus 1, and then dx. And then bracket. And this is equal to, um, I'll go ahead and integrate this one. It'll be u to the 4 over 4. So it'll be tangent to the 4, because u is tangent over 4. I'll hold off on the c until the end. Minus. Uh, bracket, this will be the integral of tangent x secant squared x dx, let's break it up into two integrals, and then minus tangent x, so minus the integral of tangent x dx. All right, good stuff. Let's go ahead and distribute the minus sign. So this is, let's write this as one fourth tangent to the fourth x minus, and then here we have um, the integral of tangent x times secant squared x dx. And then minus and minus is plus, so plus the integral of tangent x dx. All righty. All right, so for this integral here, this middle one, we can let u be tangent, and then du is secant squared. So I'll use u again. So u is tangent. And so du is secant squared x, just like before dx. 
For this integral here, let's do it on the side over here. Um, the answer is negative ln absolute value of cosine. I have it memorized. If you don't have it memorized, you can always work it out. So if we have the integral of tangent, we can write that as sine over cosine dx. Then you would let, uh, I'll use w, let w equal cosine x. So dw would be, um, well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So it'd be negative sine x dx. And now you don't have a negative in your integrand, so you multiply by negative 1. So you get negative dw equals sine x dx. So this guy here, sine x over cosine x dx. Well, the sine x dx part, that's, that's down here. That's negative dw, right? So you just pull out the negative and you get dw and cosine is w. So you get negative dw over w. So that gives you negative natural log absolute value of w, but w is cosine x plus, of course, a c. So this is going to give you negative ln absolute value of cosine x. Some people have it memorized as the natural log of secant x. That's the same thing. There's a negative 1 here, and you can bring it up using the power rule for logs, and it becomes cosine x to the negative 1 power, which is 1 over cosine, which is secant. I typically memorize it like this. This is equal to 1 fourth tangent to the fourth of x. Minus, and here, so here we have u du. What a problem. <laughs> it looked really innocent. Um, and then this one here, uh, we said was negative ln absolute value cosine x. I'll hold off on the c to the very end. Almost there. So this is finally, this is equal to uh, 1 fourth tangent to the fourth of x. Minus, using the power rule, you get u squared over 2. But u is tangent, so it's tangent squared x over 2 minus the natural log of the absolute value of cosine x. And now, since we've integrated everything, I'll go ahead and add the c at the end. So that is the final answer. Wow, I can see the time on the video here. It's like 7 minutes and 30 seconds almost. Huh, crazy stuff. I didn't think it would take this long. Um, hopefully that made some sense. Uh, kind of an interesting problem. That's it.